Thank you for watching, liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing right now. I'm still struggling to find an image editor that I can really fall in love with. And I've tried just about every single one of them and am finding myself always wanting something more. I mean, I want it to be very powerful, but I also want it to be simple at the same time. And very seldom do you get both of those in the same application. In some cases, uh, all I need is just a, a quick and easy way of doing one thing or another, uh, and I don't necessarily have the software installed. For instance, when I was on my parents' computer, they did not have any photo editing software installed and I needed to uh, do something, so I found a web application uh, that would help me uh, you know, edit photos online. But then I thought, well, what if I wanted to draw something original and I didn't have an application to do it? Yeah, I guess I could use Microsoft Paint. Whee! That hasn't been updated since, what, 1952? At least it looks like that. There are some artists out there that can do some really wild stuff with Microsoft Paint. I am not one of them, so I need a, a better application, a, a more robust application uh, that you know would be able to help me in a moment's notice create an image. Not necessarily edit a photo at this point. I'm saying just create something. Maybe even yeah, edit a photo in a basic capacity, but creating and drawing. What do you use? What do you use? It's a, it's a good question. I mean, I know a lot of you say, oh, I use Photoshop. Photoshop's kind of overkill. I'm a Photoshop Elements kind of guy, although I haven't looked at Photoshop Elements for a few versions because I'm just not going to spend money on something like that because it's just like, well, it, inevitably I try it and it's like, eh. It just, it's either slow or it's lacking in some way. It's like, eh. I'm still looking for a really good application, something that runs fast, that's clean, efficient, easy. I don't know. I have a feeling I'm going to continue uh, to look for something and never find it. Until then, uh, I am I know I'm going to keep this one bookmarked. It's something that David Concepcion passed along, and you know he's a regular uh, community member at live.perillo.com. He's made a few recommendations in the past. You know I love web-based apps that are very useful. So he passed along sumopaint.com. You know sumo as in sumo wrestling. <clears throat> little tidbit for you. There's a local sushi chef who used to be a sumo wrestler, and if you don't like his omakase, well, let's just say you better like his omakase. Anyway, sumopaint.com is an application that'll run right here within your web browser. Uh, you don't even have to register as long as you've got a, the Adobe uh, Flash player installed, and I'm guessing that you already do. Uh, you don't need to register. If you do, you can. If you don't, you can log in as a guest and start drawing an image right here within your web browser window. I mean, literally, look, I'm showing you this. This is not an application that I installed. This is here inside the web browser. And of course I can do things that I could normally do inside an image editor. I just drew the squiggly line. It's like kind of pointless. I can change the color. So if I like red, I can go with red. Say I like, uh, let's see here, lime green. I'll go with lime green, Wee! But it's not just drawing. Of course I can draw shapes if I wanted to. Uh, I've got, uh, oh, the symmetry tool, that's even uh, a little more advanced. The blurring tool, the smudging tool, the free transformer rate rotating tool, the eyedropper tool, clearing the layer so you can work with layers. This is, well, kind of like a, an image editor of sorts, not just a photo editor, an image editor creator online, fully capable of handling layers including uh, different uh, effects on different layers as you would come to expect on an image editor like lightning, darkening, multiplying, burning, overlaying, etc. You can even set the opacity for a layer uh, to choose to view the layer or not. It, this will get you through uh, a bind. If you don't have software installed or you're still looking for software to do something like this, you don't need to install it. You just need to go to sumopaint.com. In fact, here's a nice little thing, especially for those of you in web development, you can input a color hex value, and that's the color that will show up. Now, that's, again, only impressive if you happen to be someone like me and, and do, someone who does web development and, and works uh, with that particular, uh, I guess, number type. The, uh, uh, there's also different ways you can configure. It looks like I've got uh, line opacity, line diameter, so I can increase that by a slider. So now my boxes will be a little thicker. Oh, indeed, that's a thick box. The fill opacity, the mode, mode value. Boy, you can configure just about everything. Uh, you can go into full screen mode, zoom in, zoom out, apply different filters to that particular layer, add the new layer, move the layer up or down, select, deselect, rotate the canvas, 
undo, redo, cut, copy, paste. You can open from a Snap account, open from your computer, save to your computer, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. So this is the future of software. And uh, I'm, I'm doing this right now. It's, uh, look, look, I, I'll, look, I'll show you. Save to my computer. Uh, save it as an untitled JPEG, quality 100. Hit save. And now it's saved here. It's going to download the image. It's downloaded to my downloads directory. It's opened it up in the preview window. And there you go. I've just created a piece of junk for free. Maybe you're more skilled than I am. I don't know. Anyway, David, thanks for passing this along. I'll certainly have to keep it in memory, my own memory, so that I remember the next time I need something like this, I know where to go, sumopaint.com. I know there are a few other online image editors that we've reviewed before. This is a newer, I guess. I mean, it's new to me. I don't know. I'd love to see something like this inside an Adobe Air application. That'd be even better so that instead of having to go to the website to do it, I could just you know double-click an icon and then have it pop up right there on my desktop. I'll get into how to do that within Firefox as soon as I can get that working. But yeah. until then, my email address is chris at perillo.com. Maybe you've got a, uh, something else that you uh, think is interesting for the rest of the world to take a look at, or at least our community here who's always looking for cool, free, fun, interesting stuff. Uh, you know, you're also welcome to stop by the website and chat it up with a handful of geeks. We love talking about this stuff. Uh, you know, software that you can play with but you don't have to install or register for, all for it. So we're streaming out this live video 24 hours a day and typically talking tech here in the chat room at live.perillo.com. We'll see you later.